Welcome to Wildcat Basketball Weekly, presented by Hughes Federal Credit Union, home of the official U of A Visa debit card. Show your Wildcat spirit and get your free debit card today. Visit them at HughesFCU.org, federally insured by NCUA. Welcome to another edition of Wildcat Weekly with head coach Sean Miller. The Wildcats are home to host the LA schools and then a rivalry game the following week. But first of all, coach, congratulations. Always great to win on the road and very impressive to get a road sweep at Washington State and Washington. Your team played really well. We did, Brian. It was a, a pivotal road trip for us based on the fact that it's the first two games of the, of the back nine, so to speak, of Pac-12 play. And in our case, it was game 10 and 11 in which seven of those, six and seven of those were on the road at Washington State and at Washington. It was a, a tough stretch that I feel like we've been talking about since before Christmas, knowing that we were going to begin conference play with three games in a row on the road and then with the first two of the second half also being on the road. You know, a lot of teams you can lose confidence uh, because especially with the depth and quality of this year's Pac-12, but I thought this trip embodied a lot of the very good qualities of this year's team. Resiliency, you know, the next man up mentality, and obviously really feeding off of our seniors, Gabe York so many times, Ryan Anderson so many times, and it really was those two guys, but especially Ryan Anderson, his individual performance against both Washington State and Washington. Um, he was the Pac-12 Player of the Week and deservedly so. 53 points, 27 rebounds in the two games for Ryan Anderson, and and we've seen this from we 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 we've seen it all season long in terms of his consistency and so on. Has he surprised you in any way? He has, and as far back as October, when I would field questions about our team, a lot of times I would talk about Ryan in glowing terms because you know, he's one of the first players in our program that had won the the coveted gold jersey given to each week's best practice player statistically. And those practices in October are grueling. They're hard, they're long without any games in between. And if you're winning the gold jersey in a given week, you're clearly, you clearly earned it and you clearly have outdistanced yourself from your teammates. He won it six times in a row. So I think you can see his dominance started a long, long time ago that fed into non-conference play other than you know, his ankle, which we lost him for a game. And he went through, I think, an awkward couple of week period of time there where he wasn't completely healthy. Uh, once he's gotten through that, you know, I'm going to say out of the games that we've played, he may have one bad one in his, in his, on his resume, which no gr as, as great of a player as Derek Williams was for us in his sophomore year, he had a few games where he didn't play well. It's impossible to be perfect every game. But Ryan has been the most consistent player on this year's team. True fans live for their team. They buy the gear, they order the tickets, they pay for the seats and the experiences. For those true U of A fans, thankfully there is Hughes Federal Credit Union, offering the latest payment choices such as U of A debit cards, paying online, paying a friend with pop money, or using Apple Pay with your mobile phone. Show your U of A spirit and put technology and convenience at your fingertips. Hughes Federal Credit Union, smart choice. Wildcat Basketball Weekly continues, presented by Hughes Federal Credit Union. Lonzo Trier made his return uh, a month after the hand injury, seven points in 16 minutes at uh, Washington. What does he mean to you, not just in terms of his points and rebounds, but his minutes? Well, he renews our depth, and uh, we would not have won the game at Washington if he didn't play, and to show you the type of kid he is, you know, really became his choice, him and his family, because he was cleared to play, but he wasn't officially cleared until after Friday's practice. And we needed to see him go through contact, make sure that the pain was, was free, and it was. So for him really to play in, at Washington in front of that crowd, it's his hometown, and that frenetic of a pace, it would have been easy for him to say, you know, how about let's wait till next Friday when I can get five or six practices under my belt in another week's worth of healing, but he didn't, and his 16 minutes uh, bolstered our team. Uh, that 16 becomes his normal 30, which is what's going to happen. I think it takes a lot of pressure, not off of just our guards, but the entire team, because now you're able to rest guys for three or four minutes, and we've talked about this, Brian. A four-minute difference in a game is, is significant. I mean, if, if Gabe York plays 37 minutes against a particular team, and that becomes 33, 
we're going to have a fresher player in the 33 minutes that he played than the 37 that he has to play. Alonzo does that for our team. All right, you've got two big games this week with UCLA and USC coming to town. We've talked about getting through that road stretch now, the comforts of home, but how important is it for your guys not to, to put too much on the fact, hey, we're home, uh, we usually win at home, uh, we're confident at home, et cetera. You're, it's a, I would call it a desperate UCLA team coming to town and then an outstanding USC team. You hit, you hit the nail right on the head, and we don't need a reminder. Oregon gave us the reminder just a few short weeks ago where you know, they came in here and uh, they were the better team from start to finish uh, just because we play in front of 14,500 and we have McHale Center and we're at home and awesome. It doesn't mean we're going to win the ball game. We're going to have to play outstanding basketball against both teams. Both teams have great offensive firepower, individual talent that, that will be on the all-conference team and will leave college and be a part of the NBA. And like you said, two teams maybe in different situations where you know UCLA is clearly going to want to put it together down the stretch. And believe me, they're more than capable. And USC having a season that they haven't had in quite some time. And we've talked a lot about them over the last month or so. All right, Cats and the Bruins Friday night and USC in town on Valentine's Sunday. And we'll see you again next week right here. Thank you for watching Wildcat Basketball Weekly, presented by Hughes Federal Credit Union, home of the official U of A debit card. Visit them at HughesFCU.org, federally insured by NCUA.